Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. God bless you. Yes, my name is Daniel. Calling from Ondo State. Daniel Ondo State. God bless you. Amen. Daniel, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to enlarge my business that I had I just started newly. Oh my God, that business should prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Daniel, have you heard the prophecy of uh, on those state election? What is it? Have you watched the prophecy I gave about on those state election? No, I have not. I gave a prophecy about on those state election. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, who do you think will win? <laughs> I think it's PDP. Ah, okay. Yes. All of us are thinking it's PDP, but the prophecy I saw was showing uh, APC returning the power. All right. Okay. Okay. That is what I saw. But all of us we think PDP. But what I saw in the realm of the spirit was clear that APC now returning the power. Let the will of God be done. And let there be peace. Uh -huh. Let there be peace. Except you people want another prayer for us to pray another prayer. You will call me after. Okay, sir. Uh, Thank you, sir. God bless you and remain blessed in Jesus' name. And right now, the Lord has opened my eyes and say the election that is coming right there in Ondo State on the 10th of October, being this month that we are in, that oh, the election has already been won. Then I begin to ask questions. I say, in the realm of the spirit, what is the meaning of this election being won? And God say, this time around is not going to be easy for the party of PDP. But the PDP will try all their best. They will do everything possible. They will want to come out and emerge the winner of that election. But the, the power and the forces that will face them will be too big for them to handle. And that is what is going to take the man called Rotimi. When I look in the realm of the spirit, I see a name called Rotimi. Uh, Rotimi, this is Akere Dolu. Rotimi Akere Dolu, the incumbent governor of APC. Right now, I see the man now become the person that uh, they, they now announce as the winner of that election. But the PDP would have also win this election. But I see things that they cannot be able to control because that election is not going to be free and fair. When I look in the realm of the spirit, it's not free and fair. It's going to be tough. When I look at the tough, I see what is called mafian way of uh, of handling. And at the end of it all, I see the incumbent governor, being, uh, the man they call Rotimi Akarede, winning the election as APC candidate. I am not here to prophesy things, whether favoritism or I know this one or I don't know this one. I prophesy as the eyes of the spirit have shown to me. When I'm to pray for a particular person, I want to pray for a person to win election. I know the kind of prayers I will pray. I know the kind of things I'm going to do. But whatever is written in the realm of the spirit is written in the realm of the spirit. I don't have a right to thwart it. Except the Lord give me the grace and say, okay, take charge of this. Do this or do that. And I go into it as a prophet. I begin to pray that prayer and things like that begin to happen. But when I look at right there, because, you know, for like three days ago, people begin to ask questions. Oh, who is going to win this election? Who is going to win this election? I said to them, God has not spoken. But when God shows it to me, clear, I will say it. I said, God has already written it in the realm of the spirit. But now, today, God say, go ahead and speak. Go ahead and speak. Because in the way it is going in the realm of the spirit, this is not just election, but I see what is happening is going to be a power tussle. And when I see power tussle, I see what is called something bigger than the party PDP can handle. They cannot handle it. They will try everything possible to come out. They will try to pull the power, pull the weight. But they, what is going to happen there is bigger than their power. Is something that is beyond their control. And this is what now will make the people that is now being the APC governor winning the election of right there in Ondo uh, State that is coming in this month of October. I am speaking as the eyes of the Lord have shown to me. If any other thing is going to happen, I don't know, but the Lord has shown it to me. This is what is on ground. The strength of PDP and their power cannot carry this. It's beyond what they can handle. 
and make it clear is beyond what they can handle because I see full force. I see full power. I see full strength giving them something times two. So that one is clear and that is something that is already written in the realm of the spirit. Of APC, secured the highest number of uh, votes among all the 17 contestants. Moreover, it was expected to score at least uh, one quarter of the votes in the uh, 25 in the uh, two talks. That's in the 12 local governments, but it scored more, uh, at least 25 percent in all the 18 local government areas. Then, uh, moreover, the margin of lead. That's the difference between his vote and that of the person of the candidate who plays second is higher than the number of council votes. So the margin of lead is higher than the number of uh, council votes. So consequently, having satisfied satisfied the requirements of the law, I hereby declare Uluwaru Tibi Odrayo Akredolu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, as the winner, and is hereby returned elected. Thank you.